Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. We're going to discuss about some random topics in the Chelsea community. Let's start by the elephant in the room, Mr. Edouard Mendy. Apparently, he had a very bad game against Holland. And uh, context is not used, to be honest with you. He looks like the shadow of himself and he looks like uh, he's been abandoned by everybody, you know? A few years ago, he was on top of the world, the best goalkeeper in the world, blah, 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 because he won us something. So, we win together, but you lose alone. We don't support the boy when he's not doing good. Everybody turned against him. Tells you, you know, the world of profit that we are living in. It's all about now. It's all about what are you going to give me. I don't support you if you don't win. We don't support losers. So, and you can understand why we've been linked with somebody like Pickford. Be careful what you wish for. Because if, um, if Pickford comes to Chelsea Football Club and start making those mistakes, top corners, top beans. And then, don't complain. Don't complain because you are looking for a perfect guy, just like players or goalkeepers. We are all the same. We win together. You lose alone. That is the principle in the Chelsea community. So, the first goal against Holland, he came off his line and he missed the ball. Or, uh Gakpo uh was in front of him you know he was quicker than Edouard Mendy so think about it my friend if he didn't come off that line people were going to say why were you waiting for you know like he can't win in this situation he need to come with a lot of authority you know I know how good he can command the box and, and and do something. But he kind of hesitated a little bit before going. So if he didn't go to that ball and he stayed on the line, I don't think he was going to save it either because Gakpo was... That ball from Frankie de Jong was from another level. This is the level that I want to see Jorginho get. You yeah. are... Your midfielder, your creative midfielder need to do that. Or your deep, deep midfielder need to do that. But Jorginho, that is another topic. He would do it like once a year and everybody goes crazy. But 99.99% of the time, he's not going to do it. Anyways, Edouard Mendy being cooked. Listen, if you look at the, the context behind the first goal, the second, hole, the second goal also, he powered... But the defense need also to help. You need a little bit of help from your defenders to anticipate the situation. Because it's easy to make theories from your couch. But when something happens in like two seconds, it's a different story. But it is what it is. Edouard Mendy to blame. But listen, I'm going to support this boy until... When he, le he leaves Chelsea Football Club. Because I still believe that he can offer something. I'm not going to give up on him. Everybody is doing. Because it's an easy target. It's easy money to make right now. You, know, you just learn to the popular opinion. Because everybody is copying and pasting. He's the most hated guy online now. So if you get there. You got subs. You got uh, clicks. And, and you got followers. You grow the business. But if you ever try to... To, to, to make people think outside the box or defend the boy, you are the bad guy because why are you defending somebody that I hate? Listen, not everybody is supposed to hate. Not everybody need to do this for business reason. I still defend this guy and I don't care what anybody else is going to say. Okay, let's go to what people want to hear. Let's start by Christopher Nkunku. So, according to Ben Jacobs, 
who is very close to the boilies here in America. This guy is really, really connected to the club. Uh, he's a Leicester City fan, by the way. So he said, Christopher Nkunku update. Although Leipzig call a move to Chelsea, quote and quote, a transfer rumor, I am told that is Ben jo Jacobs, not me. There is now a broad club to club agreement in place for summer 2023 worth around 70 million so we overpaid instead of paying 60 million release close we're gonna pay 70 million to make sure that we're not gonna fight so everything is in place just waiting to be announced but make no mistake he's not coming uh, this January is going to come summer. So if we, you had to make a plan in the Champions League and try to reinforce our team a little bit, we have to go for somebody else. You know what I mean? So welcome, Chris, because I call him Chris, Christopher Nkunku to Chelsea Football Club. Every transfer is a risk. I'm not telling you that he's going to be the next coming of Eden Hazard. No. We've seen how many mistakes we made lately from Germany and he's going to be treated the same for me. I'm not going to get too excited. I'm happy that we signed somebody and I'm praying that he's going to perform at Chelsea Football Club without hyping too much. You know what I mean? So, yeah, fingers crossed. This one is going to be uh, a banger <laughs> from Germany for a long time. We don't buy any bangers. We don't buy anybody that is ready to kill it and take Chelsea to the next level. I don't know why, but it is what it is, my friend. Talking about we need somebody now. Fabrizio Romano on YouTube said uh, Chelsea have decided to push one more time to sign the Russian guy, Arsen Zakarian, making him one of their priority future signings. Negotiations are ongoing. Yeah, I don't know what left to be negotiated because we've been negotiating for four months. <laughs> What's going on here? It's about transferring money to Russia. It's about UK against Russia. It's about the war in Ukraine. So it's making everything complicated let me know if you think this guy can solve our creative problems or issues in that midfield. If you look at his YouTube compilation videos, he looks good. But that is in the Russian league, my friend. Make no mistake. You come to England, you're going to have to adjust. Nobody is going to give you a lot of space anymore. He's still like 19 years old. He's still a kid. He needs to learn but he got a little bit of uh, Fabregas in him. He got a little bit of aggressivity in him. He got a little bit of everything. So I am very confident without comparing him to the greatest that we had. But kind of gives you a little bit of hope that Chelsea are in, um, in a good... Uh, the future for Chelsea Football Club is great. That's what I meant. Okay, people, so it is what it is. Join us on GFC. We are live every single day over there during this World Cup. We we, we have many games to, to watch along, and uh, we always put the link for everybody to call, no exception, no money asked, and you have to be part of the show instead of watching me, watching TV. Does that make sense? So there... You are part of the show and not a spectator. Does that make sense? All right. See you then.